I'm just like sitting here in silence because I'm just so stunned right now. I'm more stunned than Omega. Sorry, that was a joke in poor taste. Hey fellow Force users, what is up? It's Jasmine, the Ahsoka Tano fan, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So it's time for another episode of The Bad Batch. As you can see, I'm trying to get my filming done before I start my shift at the hospital, so I figured, why not just do this one in my scrubs? Uh, I already have all my stuff ready to go, so I can just jet out of here when it's time to leave, so. Yeah, but anyways guys, obviously the last episode was quite a big one. We saw Wrecker's long anticipated turn, which was pretty terrifying. Um, there was still a part of me that kind of wished it went on a little bit longer, maybe like two episodes at least, just so that it would kind of, you know, raise the stakes a little bit more. But nonetheless, it was still terrifying to watch and did give us a glimpse as to what it would be like if Wrecker was against the Bad Batch. I mean, having Crosshair against you is one thing, but Wrecker, he's just of such strength, um, and he literally is like their Hulk, and you just do not want him against you. You need him on your side. And I just love how he's normally this kind of fun-loving, soft teddy bear on the inside. We're used to seeing that side from him, especially around Omega. And then in that episode, it was just a stark contrast compared to what we're normally used to, right? So that was really well done. And of course, it was great to see Rex again. It definitely gave us that Clone Wars feel, you know? It's great to see him post Order 66 and post Clone Wars. And it was awesome how he helped them all remove their chips. So that was just all around great. It was great that, to see him together again with the Bad Batch. I know that during the Clone Wars, sometimes there's a little bit of conflict there between the Bad Batch and the Reg clones, right? Especially between Rex and Wrecker, they fought a little bit. So it was nice to see them reuniting and back on good terms. That was all good. We know at the end of the episode, Rex did contact somebody, and I am wondering who that might be. There's definitely lots of possibilities there. It could be another clone, it could be someone like Saw Gerrera, or it could be Ahsoka. So I don't know when we'll find that out, or if we'll find that out. I could be reading too much into it. Now, I did happen to see someone's thumbnail briefly in passing, but I tried to avoid any potential spoilers. Um, and so I did see that the episode looks like it's called um, The Reunion. Now, immediately that got me thinking, are they talking about a potential someone making an appearance? And by someone, I mean Ahsoka, obviously. Uh, we already saw Rex, we saw the Martez sisters, so we pretty much know that Ahsoka has to show up at some point, and could this be the episode? That would definitely be quite the reunion, most notably between her and Rex, because last time they saw each other, obviously, was during Order 66. They may also leave Ahsoka towards the end, though, if they are gonna show her closer towards the finale, because she would be quite a big character appearance. My other thought was, is the reunion referring to Wolf and Gregor somehow with Rex? Because we know that Rex will meet up with them at some point after the Clone Wars and before Rebels because we see the three of them together in Rebels and Rex helped them presumably remove their chips. So we just saw him do that with the Bad Batch. So are we going to see him do that with Wolf and Gregor now? But at the same time, I don't know if they would show Rex again so soon like this because they just showed him last episode. So I don't know. And then, of course, the final possibility could mean that the reunion is not necessarily a good one, um, and it could be between the Bad Batch and Crosshair and the Empire, because we obviously have not seen them now for a few episodes, so it is time that we see them again, so it could be this episode we see them, or potentially if it's Crosshair, by reunion, do they mean that Crosshair comes back? They somehow get his chip removed, um, and then Crosshair ends up joining the team again. Because we know at the end of last episode, the Empire was onto them and, and spotted Hunter talking to Rex there. So the Empire knows their current location. So it's possible that 
Crosshair and the Empire then come to that location and then they have a confrontation there. So I definitely feel like a confrontation is likely the more I think about it. Um, but yeah, it should be interesting to see if they are able to remove Crosshair's chip because they're right in the place where they could have that done. So it seems like the perfect opportunity in the storyline. I of course love The Bad Batch, I'm really enjoying it so far, but I do kind of miss Crosshair also taking along with the team. So it would be nice if we could see him um, at some point in the series at least tag along with them and be on the good side again and, and all of them fighting against the Empire. So anyways guys, I could speculate for hours and hours. Um, I don't want to talk too much. I just want to dive in and see what's in store for us. Okay, I have Disney Plus up now and I'm seeing that it's called Reunion, not The Reunion, sorry. Um, and it says the Batch find themselves cornered on a treacherous terrain. And in the thumbnail, I'm seeing Crosshair. So I'm guessing, like I said, he is going to be showing up in this episode and giving the Bad Batch some trouble. But again, guys, I still think it's possible that maybe he comes back to the light side. We shall find out. Why do I feel nervous? <laughs> After seeing that thumbnail, I'm feeling pretty nervous. This is Camino. Oh, is that Crosshair on the Elite team? Oh, Admiral, what's his name again? Oh my gosh. I'm totally blanking. Rampart. Jeez. That's how you know he hasn't been in it for a few episodes. I forgot his name. Are they debating whether to kill him or not? Okay. This is not going to be good. Is he with Omega? Oh. <gasps> is he being serious right now? Oh. I was wondering for a second. But see, now that Omega has watched that once, she's probably gonna have to do it in the episode for real and she'll probably get it like that because that's usually how she does things, right? She picks it up very quickly. I don't know, guys. I'm kind of worried for Wrecker. Oh. Those guys are a pain. Are they gonna see them? They do see them, okay. We're gonna have a Wrecker crosshair showdown this episode. Nice. Well, at least we don't have to worry about him hitting his head again. In our present situation, we need money. And we have a chance to make a lot of Yeah, you need to live, too. And you're not going to if the Empire comes after you, babe. The Dianoga must have kept the scrappers away. Just mm, Dianoga. There's no Republic for us to rely on anymore. We're presented with an opportunity. See, Hunter said something important there. We don't have the support of the Republic, and it just shows that a lot of people are forced into those kinds of situations where they're kind of dancing around the law, so to speak, because they have they don't have that support, right? So it goes to show that not everyone doing bad things is necessarily bad or a bad person, I should say. Isn't that what he um they were disarming? What's that? Oh, is it a trap? Oh no. Oh. <laughs> I love how Wrecker loves it. Wait, they're leaving. Oh, I thought Wrecker was by himself for a sec. Echo makes some good points though. I think they should have went with Rex. Is she gonna find something? Or she's gonna see them maybe coming or the Empire? Oh no. Kid, 
Huh, I like that. That shows that Tekken is so, he's so technical that he doesn't have any emotion, right? He's not able to describe things beyond what they technically are. Oh, it's not a short circuit. Oh my goodness. He says it so calmly. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, because they want Omega, right? Have to call upon further assistance. Yes, sir. Why? Further you know, assistance. Been on handling Fennec? As long as one of these bounty hunters delivered a young clone intact, mm -hmm. that is all that should The young concerned. clone, Omega. I think it's Fennec they're talking about, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it's crosshair, all right. Oh my gosh. Cross their nose, it's tech. They're being jammed. Yep. That's why he's so dangerous because he knows the Bad Batch so well. Mm. See, Echo knows because he was um he's been on those kinds of cruises so many times before. It's so weird to see clones hunting clones. Damn, they move fast. But I wonder if Crosshair is saying that, knowing that they might be listening to them. You know what I mean? So he might be uh, leading them into a trap without them even realizing it. Uh, Poor Wrecker. I'm not going out that way. He's always being faced with the heights. So predictable. Yep. Yeah. Which is not good. In all the time, remember what I told you in the brick? Right? You can't help it. I know what you're gonna do. Please don't. That's what she said to him. Aim for the kid. Oh! So cold! Oh. See, I love how they're using old machinery from the Clone Wars. Like, first they started with the, clo the droids in the Trace and Rafa episode. Now they're using the cannons. Oh. Rager better be careful with that torpedo though. What if they shoot at it while he's holding it? Is that Oh can we not? I don't know if it would like blow up or something. These ships were huge, holy. <laughs> How are they gonna carry that across? Man, they gotta get crosshair into that room and get his trip out, man. Mm, crosshair is terrifying. We're almost there. A little further. Oh, every time I say that, something happens. Wrecker's the last one. Okay, get Wrecker's okay. I'm so worried for him. Never been inside an iron engine before. Could be weirder if you had. These chambers are quite capable of that. Okay, moment. Why is being so mean to Tech? I wanted to hear what he had to say. Oh. Crosshair. Is it the Kaminoans coming now or something? Oh wait. Oh no, sorry. Someone powered up the engine? But they're inside it, right? Aren't they? Oh shit. He sure as fuck would. And that's cold. So he's forcing them out that way. Oh, I'd take my chances with the plan. What other option do you have? I like how they're playing their theme, the Bad Batch theme. Oh, crosshair. Cold. His face got burnt. Crosshair. Whoa. 
Whoa. Oh my gosh. Crosshair got burnt up. Whoa. Jeez. He's not gonna die, is he? Crosshair? He can't die. Oh. Wait. Fennec. I bet you it's Fennec. Because the Kaminoans were talking about bringing in extra help. Bane? Wait. Oh my gosh. Are you shitting me right now? Oh my gosh. And his droid. Toto? No, Toto got killed. It's a different droid, but... So he's not dead. <gasps> oh. Well. Kaminoans. Oh, shit. He's here for Omega, right? Oh, now would be a great time to bring Ahsoka in to help because she's fought Bane before. Oh, my goodness gracious. And I even said that crosshair reminded me of Bane. The first time I saw him with the toothpick and everything. Bane, because Bane used to do that all the time. Um, so yeah, so that was really cool. To me, they kind of represent what every clone has the potential. I know they bring him in. What the, bring in Cad Bane? I did not see that coming. This is exactly like his scene with Boba. <gasps> Did he just shoot Hunter? Just shot his leg off. Hunter's not, Hunter's not dead. No, no, no. No, no, he's not dead. His armor is good, right? Omega's gonna get taken? No, no, no. Wait, what? I didn't expect any of this to happen. Not this episode. Crosshair is broke up. Cad Bane came back and Omega gets taken. And Hunter is pending? There's no way he's dead. I refuse to believe that. No. Yeah, he's okay. Oh, gee. Oh, my gosh. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. I still haven't processed all that. Is that it? And no end music. Oh my goodness. Oh, I wish I didn't have to go to work right now. That sounds like a Soka's theme again, or am I tripping? Oh. I'm just like sitting here in silence because I'm just so stunned right now. I'm more stunned than Omega. Sorry, that was a joke in poor taste. Um, poor Omega, oh my gosh. Okay, let me exit out of this. Ah, uh, that was just crazy. I, um, whoa. I completely did not expect to see Cad Bane. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess I always thought there was a possibility that he had survived his, uh, his fight, if you call it that. It wasn't really a fight with Boba Fett um, in the unfinished Clone Wars arc. They kind of did exactly what he did with Hunter there. It's definitely a traditional Western style shootout. And we also saw it in The Mandalorian as well between Mando and Cobb Vanth. Um, and I guess that was intentional. I guess he, he survived his fight with Boba and he must have learned something from that. And whatever trick it was that he learned, he now used it on Hunter, which is why he was able to shoot Hunter first. So I think they definitely did that on purpose, but wow, I'm just so happy they brought back Bane. I've always thought he was such a cool character. I loved him in the Clone Wars. I wish we could have seen him more. And what better way to reintroduce him? You know, we already had Fennec. It's, I think it's pretty clear now that the Kaminoans hired Fennec and Cad Bane to get Omega. Wow, I'm just still so stunned. That was awesome. I, I really feel like they could use Ahsoka's help now because she's definitely she's encountered Bane before, so um, she would definitely be 
of great assistance to them. So who knows, now that Omega got taken, it's probably gonna take a, a couple episodes to get her back, right? And we still have to figure out exactly what it is the Kemino ones are, are planning. I know they wanna make like a super clone, so to speak, but now we're gonna get to see exactly how they go about doing that with Omega. They've grown so attached to Omega now, she's like one of them, right? And now they're gonna feel her void and, and feel what it's like to not have her around anymore. And I just think that goes to show how close they become and, just like family right so that was that was quite a cliffhanger I'm um, still speechless to be honest with you guys crosshair at the end there he um, got his face burnt off and hunter got shot there those events happening in this episode it really just shows how much is at stake and it makes the show a lot darker and a lot more realistic this is the reason why we can't necessarily see the Empire go after them in every episode because every time they do have that confrontation or reunion I should say it's going to be costly and each time it's going to be a little bit more costly than the last um, and that's kind of what worries me because I feel like eventually one of them is going to die somehow and I know we've, we've speculated it could be Wrecker, it could be Crosshair, it could be Hunter but yeah you definitely got the feel of, of that in this episode it was definitely costly and it quite literally left battle scars if you want to look at it that way which is what the last episode was called in crosshair and hunter and now they lost omega i mean they are just basically having wounds on all ends here right um so it was definitely a, a dark episode and speaking of reunion um you saw my earlier predictions i was thinking it could be ahsoka and rex uh, it could be Rex Wolf and Gregor, it could be Crosshair. I thought that Crosshair might actually turn good this episode because they might have had an opportunity to remove his chip, but that didn't happen. Obviously the reunion here was supposed to be the Empire and the Bad Batch. They hadn't um, seen each other for a few episodes, but you can sort of say it was Cad Bane's reunion with us, the fans as well, because the fans uh, have been wanting for some time now, I think, to see Cad Bane. It was kind of implied that during the untold t uh, stories of the Clone Wars, he might have been killed by Boba. So to see him come back now was just such a nice surprise. It was so incredible. I think the last time we saw him had to have been season four of the Clone Wars, if I'm not mistaken. During the arc where they went after um, the Chancellor with Moralo Ival, Obi-Wan had to fake his death and go undercover. So yeah, it was just really, really nice all around to see him again. On a side note, I also like in this episode how they used older technology. Uh, and we've kind of seen this happen multiple times so far in the series. First we saw it with the droids back in the Trace and Rafa episode. They used the cruiser's equipment to remove all of their inhibitor chips. And now we saw it again this episode when Crosshair tried to have them killed with the engine. Just having the writers make use of older equipment and technology that was used during the Clone Wars definitely kind of is reflective of how this series is kind of like the Clone Wars, uh, but different. And how this Imperial era still has seeds of the Clone Wars planted within it. And we're literally getting to see that and how they're making use of machinery and equipment and technology that was used during the Clone Wars. So that's pretty cool. I enjoyed seeing that. But overall, guys, uh, that was just, that was a really good episode. Left off in a great cliffhanger, had a huge surprise appearance. I'm gonna have to probably give it a nine. That was definitely up there, nine out of 10, I would have to say. And I just can't wait to see how they're gonna get out of this. As I said, I, I think probably it's gonna be at least a few episodes, or, or I shouldn't say a few, maybe at least a couple episodes before they get Omega back. You know, the Kaminoans, they definitely want her. We're gonna find out soon exactly what they're planning on doing with her. And who knows, maybe while she is with them, uh, with the Kaminoans, that is the moment we're truly gonna find out what her enhanced skill is. Because all along we've kind of been speculating, but thus far we still have not received a definite answer on that. So maybe this will be the time uh, where we do. So yeah, should be good to see you guys. Anyways, as always guys, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and a comment to keep the discussion going. I love reading your comments, I'm responding to them. And also share the video as well if you'd like. And I will see you next week for an all new episode of The Bad Batch. Until next time guys, take care and see you soon.